these are the worst people to be in a group project with. Number one, the people who don't bring anything. I want you to think about that guy who never brings a pencil, but 10 times worse. It's not like they don't do any work, they just don't bring anything. Like the whole group can be discussing what to bring, and the kid who's supposed to bring half a crayon and two glue sticks goes to school empty handed. Now, I ain't gonna lie, this was me. I wanted to remember until like 9 p.m. and by then it was dark outside. No! I am not about to ask my dad to get a poster and some crowns, especially that late on a school night. No, no matter where I forgot, we always got the project done. So basically, I was teaching my group problem solving skills. Overall, six out of ten. Number two, the people who do everything then blame you for doing nothing. There's always that kid that wants to do the project by themselves, but the teacher puts everyone in random groups. Oh no! These are the type of kids to ask if they can go above and beyond. Now, I just go along with what they already planned because they seem smart and I didn't have an idea for the project yet. So they take the lead and just go crazy. Like, I can't even change the font. Like, bruh, the font. The next thing I know, my teacher asked me why I didn't contribute to the project. Like, bruh, I would have done more if I could have done more. But I also don't mind for chilling for three classes. Overall, four out of ten. Number three, the people who act like you're not making any sense. What the hell are you talking about? Basically, everything you say is stupid, or they make it seem that way. For example, you could say George Washington was the first president, and they'll look at you crazy. You can't win with these people. Overall, negative 15 out of 10. There's no way out of this. No. If you drink two five-hour energies, how much energy do you have? Two five. 13, nigga, what? Actually, 13? Questions. How do yes. you get two and five and 13, bro? Two plus five is seven. Bro, what you the fuck? You get seven. You get seven energies. Bro, listen to the question, bro. We asked about two five hour energies. You gotta think about that. That's what we try to quick trick you at, bro. Two five hour energy, they weigh 10 uh, ounces a piece. That means you have 13 hours of energy throughout the day, you stupid ass dummy. Go to gym class, what? nigga. Bro, how can you, what are you talking about? How can you drink energy anyway, bro? Energy is in the air coming from photosynthesis and precipitation. Bro, what are you what? talking about? Gym class and stuff, bro. Energy is on the fucking earth, nigga. I should knock you the fuck out. Then go to fucking class next time, nigga. Fucking stupid, boy. Number four, the people who leave. Now, I want you to picture something. You and your friend are about to present a project you did in five minutes of class before. You're hyping yourselves up, saying stuff like, oh, it's not that bad. Then boom, they're halfway across the United States with that bathroom pass. Overall, three out of 10. Number five, the people who do not care. I don't give a fuck. These people could care less about school or whatever is going on. Honestly, I don't even know why they come to school. You need to like, leave. If you didn't want to do work, you probably should have stayed home. Bruh. Anyways, these people do work, but it's the bare minimum. I mean, bare. Oh, no. They do not change the font after copy and pasting from Wikipedia. Like, bruh. At this point, I could just do the project myself. Overall, five out of ten. If I miss any, please comment down below.